Hello everyone, you are on Variant24.com channel and today we will be disassembling Xiaomi Poco C75. First we remove the SIM card tray. For this we use a special tool. Insert it into the hole and push out the tray for the SIM card and memory card. Next we need to heat the back cover. For this we use a heating mat, but you can also use a hair dryer. We heat it to approximately 70 degrees Celsius or 160 degrees Fahrenheit. And after 5 to 10 minutes, we move on to separating the back cover. For this, we use a thin plastic film. This could be the protective film from a new display or a film from a stationary store. So we insert it into the gap between the back cover and the mid frame and carefully slide it along the edge cutting through that hazy layer. As always, we need to be careful around the camera area so we don't accidentally damage the lenses. And of course, be careful around the buttons and the fingerprint sensor, since flex cables may be located in those areas. Take note, on this type of cover, there is usually extra adhesive in the circular area where the cameras are located. This extra adhesive is usually applied directly around each camera. That is why we carefully work the film as close to the cameras as possible without touching the lenses. After that we can use a thicker tool. In the circular area the cover is thicker and adhesive is applied there too. So that is where we try to lift and separate it. And now we remove the cover. Pay attention to the spots where adhesive is applied. Next we cover the camera lenses. For this we use a special protective film. Please note that we stick the film not on the lenses themselves, but on the rim around the cameras. After this we unscrew the screws. We use a 1.5mm Phillips screwdriver or Phillips hash 3 o We place the screws on a special surface in a specific order, just in case. All screws appear identical, but sometimes they don't go back smoothly in the wrong holes. So we remove the last screw and move on to separating the mid-frame. For this, we again start with a thin plastic film, inserted into the gap between the mid frame and the display frame near the SIM card slot, release a few clips and then switch to a thicker tool. As always, be careful in the corners, since the frame is very firmly attached there. Also be extra careful with the display edges, so you don't crack them. We carefully work our way around the edge, also watching out around the side buttons, so we don't damage them. Then we gently lift the mid frame and using a non-metallic tool disconnect the fingerprint sensor connector. Set aside the mid frame with antenna contact pads and fingerprint sensor. Next we use a non-metallic tool to disconnect the battery connector. Now we move on to the cover. We find the correct spot where we need to gently pry it up and remove the cover with a speaker. It is not always easy to find the right place and it is not always obvious where exactly the cover separates. Once we have found the right spot, we carefully lift it and set the cover with a loudspeaker side. Next we disconnect the interboard flex cable and coaxial cable and move on to removing the subboard. Again we find the spot where the subboard is held in place by clips. 
We carefully remove the subboard. The subboard contains the charging port, microphone, and other components on the reverse side. The vibration motor remains in the display frame. And here is a quick test of the microphone opening. Microphone hole is in the display frame, has an L shape, and is protected by a mesh or membrane. If you insert something into the microphone hole, you won't damage the microphone itself, but you might damage the mesh. Now we move on to the monitor board. We disconnect the rear cameras and set them aside. After that, we disconnect the front camera. The front camera is traditionally attached to the main board shield with a copper heat dissipating foil. We carefully peel off the copper foil. It will be needed again during reassembly. Next, we cover the camera lens, ideally to prevent dust from getting on it. Then we disconnect the display flex connector or interboard flex connector and the coaxial cable connector. We now proceed to remove the motherboard. We check that nothing is in the way, that no screws are left. Find the correct spot to gently pry it up and lift out the motherboard. Please note that the motherboard may also be held on the reverse side with thermal test. Finally, we move on to the battery. There are two brown pull tabs. One is wide along the edges and the other is narrow in the middle. Both tabs need to be unfolded. The narrow middle tab should be folded aside as far as possible and the wide edge tab should be pulled upward. So we pull up the wide tab and this allows us to safely remove the battery. Under the battery there is a transfer protective layer that shields the interboard flex cable. And that completes our audio assembly. Thank you for watching and see you in our next videos or on our Telegram channel or on our website. Ok guys, now we're done, thank you for watching, if you like what we do, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel, or read our articles on our website, take care of yourself, and until next video.